first one wouldn't even go into the woods alone because he's afraid of wild animals. Ah. Is that so? I wonder why. He got lost in the forest as a young lad, and he wasn't found till next morning. Shaking and pale as a ghost he was when they found him. <laughs> a village boy? Scared of the woods? <laughs> You're not very smart, are you? Why'd you say that? Oh, never mind. Only, we have to get rid of the other two. What do you know about them? One of them is afraid of wild animals. Won't even go into the woods on his own. I see. You take care of the first one. How, though? Haven't you learned anything from me? Talk to a dog. Uh, of course. Why didn't I think of that? Any particular one, Master? Oh, the most frightening one, of course. And how am I supposed to recognize it? One looks the same as another. By his bark, naturally. Can't you hear him? He'd scare the wits out of anyone. I can't hear anything. That's odd. Neither can I. But I'm sure until now I could hear a dog's bark that would send shivers down your spine. Ah. Maybe it's because somebody... Uh, killed it. Like me. What? Why would you do such a thing? Well, you said yourself he was horrible to listen to. And, uh... I got a little carried away. Jesus! Couldn't you just hit him with a stick? Well, I didn't have a stick. Anyway, what do we do now? So, how did you get on? I don't even need the dog. Which you killed? Are you ever going to stop going on about that? Anyway. What are you talking about? You killed them! I saved your life! If you'd scared them off like you were supposed to, none of this would have happened! Well, you started the whole thing. Henry, they were just some stupid lads! Harmless! What of it? What of it? Christ above, you're a monster! You'll burn in hell! What about that potion? Take the damn thing and go! I'm not going to risk being cut down over a trifle like those poor wretches. Right. For fuck's sake! Jesus. It's not as shallow as it looks. Look what I've got for you. You'll love this. <laughs>